Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, discuss natin yung implicit differentiation under ng differential calculus. So ano ba ibig sabihin ng implicit differentiation mga Lodi? So hindi to normal differentiation kasi nga from the word implicit, it is composed of two or more variables. So basically, gagawa natin to ng product rule uh, with regards to the derivatives. So ano ba yung mga examples ito? So sagot tayo mga Lodi. Let's have for our first equation... Let's say, equation natin mga Lodi is x squared plus 3xy minus y squared equals 0. Find dy over dx by implicit differentiation. So, paano natin gagawin yan mga idol? So, ganito lang po, i-differentiate natin. So, ano derivative ng x squared? That is 2x plus itong 3xy mga Lodi, since it is composed of x and y, gagamit tayo ng product rule that is udv plus vdu so that will become 3 multiplied by x udv, ano derivative ng y y prime, tama ka dyan Lodi, plus y, ano derivative ng x, that is 1 minus 2y kasi derivative ng y squared is 2y y prime equals 0, then isosolve natin yung y prime, so ano mangyari 2x plus 3x y prime plus 3y minus 2y y prime equals 0. Next step mga idol, pagsasamasamahin natin yung mga may y prime mga lodi. So ito yung may y prime. So this will become 3x y prime minus 2y y prime equals lipat mo sa kabila, negative 2x minus 3y. Tapos ang gawin mo mga lodi, ilabas mo yung y prime. So ano na mangyari dyan? So, this will become y prime multiplied by 3x minus 2y equals negative 2x minus 3y. Para makuha yung y prime, divide lang mga idol. y prime equals negative 2x minus 3y all over 3x minus 2y. So, yun na po yung final answer natin using implicit differentiation. Okay? So, sige, isa pa mga Lodi. Next example. So, what if yung example natin is x cubed, so number 2, x cubed plus y cubed minus 3xy equals 0. Find dy over dx. So, dy over dx, sinahanap mga Lodi. Ano gagawin? Implicit differentiation. Bakit? May combination ka agad ng x and y. So, automatic implicit differentiation yan mga Lodi when solving for dy over dx. So, it will become 3x squared plus 3y squared y prime minus 3 then another product rule. So, this is x y prime plus um, y multiplied by 1. So, gawin natin itong bracket mga Lodi. Equals 0. Then, distribute natin 3x squared plus 3y squared y prime minus 3x y prime negative positive negative 3y equal 0 pag samasamahin natin yung mga may y prime yung mga wala ilipat sa kabila so ito tsaka ito 3y squared y prime o kaya pwede muna natin gawin mga lodi cancel natin yung 3 bakit di divide natin both sides by 3 so pwede yan mga lodi so ano mangyari so that is y squared y prime minus, eto ah, minus xy prime equals, lipat mo sa kabila. So, this is y minus x squared. Then, factor out mo yung y prime mga lodi, it will become y prime equals y minus x squared over y squared minus x. Ito na yung final answer natin. So, yung x squared, lagyan natin dito. Such that yung denominator nyo, hindi pwedeng maging 0. Okay? So, isang example na lang mga lodi. So, for our last example, regarding implicit differentiation, so, ang hinahanap, find dy over dx and d squared y over dx squared. So, ano ibig sabihin yan? So, hanapin natin yung first and second derivative. So, let's say we have x squared minus 4y squared equals 4. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, mga Lodi, implicit differentiation. 
So kahit naman walang combination ng x, y mga lodi, pero kasi naka-equate dun sa mataas na exponent yung mga x and y natin, gagamit tayo nun para mas madali natin masimplify yung y prime natin. So ano mangyari? So ito yung mga required mga lodi, dy over dx and d squared y over dx squared. So the first and second derivative, first step, 2x minus 8y, y prime equals 0. First derivative, divide by 2, x minus 4, y, y prime equals 0. So that is 4y, y prime equals 0. Therefore, y prime equals, <coughs> sorry mga lodi, x dapat to. That is x over 4y. So ito na yung first derivative natin. How about yung second derivative? So ang gawin lang natin mga lodi, substitute natin tong I mean, i-differentiate natin yung first derivative. So, that is pro, uh, quotient rule, v du minus u dv. So, that is y double prime. So, this is d squared y over dx squared equals v du. 4y multiplied by 1 minus x multiplied by the derivative ng 4y. Ano derivative ng 4y, mga lodi? So, that is 4 all over dx quantity squared. So, I mean, all over u, v squared pala. So, that is 16y squared. So, may nakalimutan ba tayo? May nakalimutan tayo. Ano nakalimutan natin? Dapat, ito minus 4 mga lodi. So, ito gawin natin 4y quantity squared. Itong 4, kasi di ba v du minus u dv, dapat may y prime. Di ba mga lodi? Opo. So, ano mangyayari? 4y minus 4x y prime all over 16y squared. Then, ano na po mangyari? So, sige, burahin muna natin. So, basta ito na yung unang sagot natin. So, ang gawin natin, yung y prime natin, palitan natin nung nakuha natin. So, that is x over 4y. So, it will become four, uh, y double prime, that is 4y, minus 4x multiplied by x over 4y. Tama ba mga lodi? all over 16y squared. So, this is now, cancel ng ano, ano mga cancel natin? So, wala pala, itong 4 lang. So, ilipat sa kabila, ano mangyayari mga lodi? So, this will become 16y squared minus x squared. Ay, di. 4 cancel natin, so that should be 4y squared, mga lodi. Sorry, ah. Cancel pala natin yan minus x squared, cross multiply, all over, may y ka, times 1 over 16y squared. Therefore, ano mangyayari dyan mga lodi? So, this will become 4y squared minus x squared all over 16y cube. Yan ay y double prime natin. Pero, pag ganyan yung sagot nyo mga lodi, kulang pa yan. Bakit? Kasi, ang ginagawa kasi ng mga prof natin, kapag second derivative sa implicit, Dapat i-observe natin maigi Ano ba yung uh, similarity ng second derivative sa original equation natin Ito, pwede ko siyang gawin na negative x squared minus 4y squared Bakit ginanyan mo sir IJ? Kasi mga lodi, ito equal dito O nga no? So that is negative 4 over 16y cubed Kapag sinimplify mo, negative 1 over 4y cubed so, ito na mga lodi, yung second derivative natin. Ulitin ko, yung second derivative, pag nakuha nyo na mga lodi, i-double check nyo maigi kung similar siya dun sa first derivative, sa original equation natin. Kasi ngayon yung ginagawa normally ng mga prof instructors natin. So, yun mga lodi, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And kung may questions kayo, huwag kayo may mag-comment. So, thank you so much mga lodi. God bless us. Bye-bye.